Hey, what's going on? Strat Soldier here with the weekend shift. Hey, this show's pre recorded. Sorry. Uh, but hey, I'm telling you what, man, if you don't know the strat, you are getting destroyed. I know you're getting destroyed because we got some strats out here, uh, just having it, it. We are having a time out here, uh, trading. If you know where to be, good. If you don't, we know how to cut it. Okay. We know what buys and sells look like. We know what. We know what a winning position looks like, and we know what a losing position looks like. And daggone it, when when uh, when certain people get on the TV, the market likes to drop. So <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. We have a really cool show today for you, anyway. But again, just because it's a it's a pre-recorded show doesn't mean don't show up. It means definitely show up because we know everybody's gonna be in the chat answering each other's questions, having a good time. And then, uh, and then I always bring a hundred percent. I never just, you know, half step and, and, oh, you know, it's a, it's a pre-recorded show of, so I'm just gonna, no, no, no. Always giving a hundred percent all the time. Cause that's what we do. We create winning positions, add to them and defend them with tight stops. That's what we do. And, uh, oh, Hey, before I get it too far into it, if you want to get in with us here at Sepia group with Rob Smith, uh, you can use promo code Strat Soldier 2022. That's Strat Soldier 2022. That's going to give you uh, Rob Smith's live trading room for for ninety only ninety nine dollars a month for the first three months. Okay, so ninety nine dollars per month for three months. That's a whole quarter. Earnings season's already started, so this is a perfect time to just start it now and then and then get through this crazy earnings season. And then you got two more months after that to, uh, you know, to, to work uh, some trades and, and then you'll have a new macro list coming out. And then that gives you 12 power hours with Rob where he teaches this stuff live. I, there's so much more that comes with that, but I'll tell you more of that about that at the end. Let me go ahead and go through what happened in the broader averages. Again, this is a pre-recorded show, so things are going to look a little bit different by the time you see this, okay? Uh, here are all my charts. This is the monthly, the weekly, the daily, and the 60. And I have all four charts up like this when I trade, all four charts. Why? Because it shows me time frame continuity. What's time frame continuity? It is multi uh, time frame analysis that we use to gauge the participants by price and time. All right. Price and time. A lot of people out here are talking about, you know, we use a 65 minute chart as opposed to a 60 minute chart because of even bars and uh, across the day and things like that. We don't care about that. <laughs> we don't. Because if you want to, you can use, you can start getting in on uh, seven and a half minute rev straps, uh, rev strats. So we got a guy out here, an uh, old salty trader that trades seven second cycles. I don't know what a seven second cycle is, but daggone it, he shows me and he does it. And he shows, he has live video of him doing it. And it's amazing. Um, the strat works on any time frame. So anyway, uh, these are our major time frames: the monthly, the weekly, the daily, and the 60, okay? What's happening on the month? Man, I tell you what. Chop, shop in here, folks. It is rough in here, okay? And it's just chopping around. The market has not decided what we are going to do yet, all right? It just hasn't. Uh, but here's your weeks, all right? Here's your weeks. You can see where they the they uh, let's let's zoom this out just a hair. You can see where they they're they're buying it up. You know they're buying it up, sell off, buy up, sell off, try to get back up to the highs. Can't can't get back up in here. Okay, so then they sell it off again. All right, so they're gonna in. So this is what we call a broadening formation. They're test the highs, test the lows, test the highs, test the lows, test the highs, test the lows. And, and we're not breakout. I don't, I'm not trying to get off on a tangent here, but we're not breakout traders, okay? We're not waiting for it to get all up in here and then buy, all right? Because you're going to miss the move, all right? Uh, we we want to trade reversals inside this broadening formation, okay? And this is, we use time frame continuity to match up actionable signals, time frame continuity, and, um, and broadening formations, I'm sorry, to get through all this. So, Anyway, we can see, uh, I talked to my kids today about this and it was interesting because my kids are little <laughs> and if little kids can understand this, I know you can understand this. What color is this bar? Red. What color is this bar? This current week, what color is this? Green, okay? What color is today? This day right here, red. And then what color, at, at this time, I was showing them about this area, but what are all these colors? What are these? What are these bars? What color are these? 
red. Okay. How much, how much out of all three, all four of these charts, what's the most major color on the charts? Red. Okay. <laughs> and these little kids yelled out red and they thought I was trying to trick them, but I'm like, no, I'm not trying to trick you at all. The, it, it, if you guys can understand it, I know daggone well, you, you adults can understand that the sellers are in control of this. All right. There's red on the screen. Yes. They were buying it up right here on the on the week. Okay, we got an outside week. Let's turn on the, let's turn on the labels for the kids in the back. The kids in the back. That's right. We are still in this outside week. They bought it up. They sold it down. And like Rob says all the time, if they do it once, they'll probably do it again. We are getting. We are actually stuck in this broadening formation right here on the daily. Okay, let me draw this small sub try. Remember when my episode about talking about triangle, uh, TTOs, triangle they out, okay? Here's your outside day. We are stuck in that, all right? They test the lows, test the highs. Couldn't get back in it. They bought it back up in here, hit the top of the broadening formation, and it just, they just, it just, what happened was on the 60s, it gapped up right here on the 60s. And what happened, what did we look for on the gap up? If there's a gap up, we're looking for the 2-2 two -two reversal back down, and that's what happened. They, it gapped up. They sold it off, 2-2 two -two reversal back down. Then people started getting on TV and talking about, you know, this and that and headlines, and it just, oh, just, it just died the rest of the day. And uh, that took the day red and then made that day go outside bar, and then, uh, which also put, is still in the conference, which confirming what we're seeing on the, on the month, which is a red month, Okay. So the sellers are definitely in control, okay? They're the most aggressive participation group, the sellers, all right? The last was at 2020. They were telling everybody to uh, buy the dip and sell the rip. Well, right now, they're selling the rips, all right? <laughs> there ain't nobody buying nothing. No one's buying any dips. They're selling the rips, all right? They're waiting for it to get bought up. They're, they're waiting for it to you know, get up in this area. They're waiting for it to get to the highs. And then as soon as they get some little bit of green on the screen, they're selling it immediately. Okay. They're selling it immediately. And, and, and the entire market's kind of getting pulled down. So you're seeing XLE get pulled down. You're seeing XLU get pulled down. Everything is getting pulled down today. So it's been tough. Um, but if you again, if you know where to go, you know, you know how to cut your cut your uh trades and reverse position, or you know when to cut, because I only go long and uh and be done or go to the inverses. Like uh, I've got some really good trades on SPXS and SQQ. Okay. Anyway, diamonds looking the same way. Diamonds looking pretty much the same way inside month. Um, here's your weeks. Uh, did, we did go two two reversal up on the week. We hit magnitude at 353.92. And then again, outside day, took them down. All right. Here's your 60s. Took them down. There's not one green hour in this whole day besides this one. All right. That opened up that way. But other than that, that's it. QQQ, the leader of the destruction. <laughs> the leaders of the destruction is QQQ. I tell you what, look at this. Holy crap. Outside day to the downside. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this one more time really quick. Same broadening formation. Here's your outside day right here. And... What did it do? It expanded to the downside, okay? Expanded that to the downside. Kind of stuck in here, chop, chop, brought it up, and then just, you know, just brought it, just just got it, just killed them, just killed them, all right, in here. Two, two reversal back down on the 60s, all right? Um, there's nothing more else to say about that. They, they wrecked them. Today is Thursday. If you're wondering when, when I recorded this, today's Thursday, and... Uh, Man, I don't know what Friday's going to do. Rob says uh, you want to hold them overnight, do you? Because we we don't know what's going to happen. More than likely, it's going to be more downside. Outside, red, outside, weak to the downside. So this QQQ is closer to going uh, 2 one two reversal down on the month next month. But we will see, okay? We're going to let them open. We're going to see what happens, all right? Um, always let them open. We don't just start slamming buttons as soon as they, you know, right at 930, you know what I mean? Or, you know, 830, depending on your time zone. Uh, we don't just start, you know, buying everything because you see where they, you know, it, it, it opened up high and then they sold it. They sold it off. Okay. So you, if you don't know what a losing position looks like, now you're holding junk all day and that's not fun, right? 
So uh, let me go ahead and get the get our guest on here because it's just us. We don't have a chat to work with. I, I miss you guys. Uh, so work with each other in the chat. Have fun. Answer each other's questions. And then uh, our, our guest today is Dell. Dell the trader. You know who he is. Come on, Dell. Come on down. What's up? <laughs> What's, up? <laughs> What's going on, man? It's What's so up, man? awesome. I did. It's, so, it's so awesome to see you because we talk. Um, we've been talking to each other for almost two years straight, and and uh, I was telling Joe from uh, from uh, Way the Master. You know, we talk to each other all day, and we've never really like seen each other's faces. <laughs> it's so awesome to see you man yeah. and uh you already got a better shirt than me and and your hair is nicer than mine so we're going ahead and stop the show now and i'll see you later and uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i know all of that <laughs> he says i already know i know all that yeah and that's, the winning, that. that's the winning attitude that we like man i tell you what yeah, um, thanks that's so oh, awesome uh thanks thanks for being here first of all thank you so much for being here um I'm going to get into how you started training. I'm going to talk to you how you got into the strat. But honestly, very first point, I want to say thank you so much for being here. Your experience. I know you do this every day. You have a day. You have a show on uh, that you post on Twitter every morning for pre-market. You've been doing it for two years straight as well. And just talking straight strat. And uh, you're keeping people out of trouble. And that's that's what we do as stratters. And I love it. And sometimes people get mad because we're like, why are you buying into this? This is not a buying opportunity. You know, Bloomberg News will get on and be like, well, this is a buying opportunity. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's no. not. <laughs> no, it's a two two down on, on to FTFC and it's going down. Oh, because, I'm yeah. it because it's going to go higher. Yeah. Buy the Net- freaking dip. No. Yeah. Netflix, Netflix, 2-2 two, two reversal on the year. I, we got to show that chart later on. 2-2 two, two reversal on the year. We don't, we, I, I, we teach the new guys, uh, don't, to, don't buy in the earnings. But we had a couple people that bought some puts on that because it's 2-2 two, two down on the year. And daggone it, they had, uh, we had one trader had a, uh, was it 11,000% on, on an option to the downside? It's like, holy crap. But yeah. uh, so that's awesome. That's really cool. Um, but That's yeah, true. two two reversal down on the year. That is yeah, not true. buying opportunity. And then and then they have their earnings, and everybody's surprised that you know they didn't do so well. Like, duh, we've been telling you, <laughs> we've been telling you, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I mean, it's just I, I, actually Rob posted that, and uh, I was just like eleven thousand. No, no, someone has just accidentally added some zeros. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. one hundred ten percent. Yeah, it's a good eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. Yeah, you look at right. it and go, yeah, it says eleven thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Bon appetit, you know, if you know. <laughs> yep. If you know, you know. Yep, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And uh, well, let me know, we can, we're going to have a lot of fun. I could tell already. Yeah. Uh, but go ahead and tell people who you are. And, um, and I, because we know, and we, that's how I'm so excited. But mm. um, we know who you are. And we know what you're famous for. We'll see it. We'll see it in a second. I don't want to blow no surprises. But um, let everybody, how'd you start trading? How'd you start trading, Dale? Yeah, so uh, uh, long ago, like in a galaxy far, no, no, not that one. <laughs> galaxy far, far away. Yep. Yeah, a long time ago in 2008, a friend of mine uh, introduced me to uh, this exotic market that it just jumps up and down and uh, every, goes everywhere. It was FX. And at the time, it was right before, right into the whole, you know, minutia of, uh, of, 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 uh market crash and the economic crisis it we couldn't see this but because it was coming so then i got to the market so you know i started in the pro league from from the from ground zero and because you know the time was a financial crisis and everything went forward i learned the the bitter side of the market i can say first then the sweet part and all the profit making and whatever like there were times that yeah. i remember a pound yen british pound versus yen it just dropped maybe like 2600 uh points or i can say pips in in forex it's just the, the movement of the market yeah. it was insane then it uh, then the whole thing moved forward for uh 10 years so uh, from 2008 to 2018 i've been trading fx and then 2018 i start to look at the uh 
stock market but penny stock in per se never traded them never touched them you know that's the no-no thing you don't go around yeah. it and yeah, people yeah, yeah. make money out of it but it's such a shady and uh you yeah. know blurry area there's there's no transparency and all of these guru furu people that you know you see that all of these subpoenas and you know yeah. um, and you yeah. know treasury goes after them fbi goes after them and all of that but anyhow just got into trading and what do you know this time luck was on my side and right around the time that i started to look at the stock market voila there is this ugly guy on uh, <laughs> twitter just posting some nonsense one two one and voila go and it was by the way it was this guy J- jomaine <laughs> <laughs> oh man it was me i did it i did yeah, it it was you remember those memes that uh, the the guy that uh, used to make that one that uh the 212 the explanation of 212 line by line then a 212 becomes 213 yeah you know, that, that that meme oh man yes. later on when i learned it, it was it it still cracks me up to this day <laughs> And yeah, so based on, yeah, based on whatever that I knew and uh, all the, uh, I, I don't want to say knowledge, but the experience that I was bringing from the FX market, I started to look at the stock market with uh, and from the window of Strat. It made sense instantly. And uh, it resonated with me. It was just like, how the heck I haven't looked at the market like this. In FX, mostly when you start to trade, there are a whole bunch of systems and indicators that people offer you. Yeah. But then looking at the chart, like raw, naked, and there's nothing else. Like it's just pure market. There's nothing else. There's price action. There's nothing but price mm-hmm. action. Yeah. And then it introduced you to a whole new horizon, right? And that horizon... Uh, needs you need to understand how to deal with the with the situation with the information that strat provides for you mm-hmm. at the beginning i totally understand that it would be overwhelming i was overwhelmed and i would be just like a kid at the middle of playground don't know what to do what to play but i want to play with everything you know <laughs> it's exactly like that yes. you, you will get you will get lost in the whole minutia of the market you don't know what to do but so today i'm going to provide uh, a little bit more uh, psychological support, I want to say, because I'm nobody in in uh, in a position to just provide uh, content. I'm just going to provide some 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 words from my own point of view, and this, these Good. are coming. Believe me, I have passed. I have gone through so much pain to get to this to to write this. It is not like I copied from somewhere. No, I have experienced so much unnecessary before a strat unnecessary uh pain that maybe it was necessary i don't know but what i'm here now with all those their experience so um i'm not going to go through basics because uh, you have provided such a bad um clean <laughs> <laughs> you have oh, Dale, we had to, I, had to tell, I, had, I had to tell Dale it's a family show and uh that that's funny it's all it's all good man i appreciate it and uh Thanks. but yeah I, I i love that you're you're bringing knowledge and and you're right I, and i love it because there, i love that i don't love that you went through pain i'm just saying i love that you took that 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 bad those experiences and go okay this because of this i know i'm not going to make these mistakes anymore and then now where you're here now and you're trying to give us some of those experiences so that we don't make those same mistakes. Cause that's exactly why I started showing Twitter. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. That's exactly why I got on Twitter and started showing people what two, two reversals to the downside look like, because, you know, I was making dumb mistakes and I had this much experience and I told everybody about it. You have this much experience a lot oh, more man, than I can have on, on the screen. And, <laughs> uh, and we appreciate it. And all those Thanks. lessons from you and a personal experience that's, we love that. And, and telling people how to win in your own words is is fantastic. So I 100% appreciate you doing that. And uh, yeah, those strap memes, I tell you what, it <laughs> either makes people mad or they it or they laugh because they get the joke. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you what, the, my favorite strap meme, I love the post, is um, Bobby from King of the Hill, and he's got this poster on the window, and it and it's all these kids in the classroom, and they're looking at the poster, and the poster says, it's the poster says. Uh, your stock is two down on the month and the week. And the, and the teacher comes out and he rips. He, there's another picture. And the teacher has come out and he rips the poster off the, the window. And he says, if these if these traders looked at anything else besides daily charts, they would be really offended. 
<laughs> oh, oh man. The best. Yeah. Again, they either they love it or they hate it. And uh, um, uh, so I've been being a little bit more selective when I do the strap memes. Uh, but most of the time we do it just to blow off pressure, just blow off steam. Because I can, anybody, you can do it. I can do it. We've done it. We um, you post like 100 charts. And like you said, I can play over here or I can play over there. I could do all these crazy things. But then there's that one person who's like just they're 100 percent. They're just they've had these bad experiences and they have not done what you have was assigning meaning to those experiences and say, OK, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to make these mistakes because they're just like in their feelings. And they're just like, I'm a I'm a you know, a lot of negative self-talk. I'm not even going to repeat that stuff, but just negative self-talk and. You know, so they're just pouring through charts, but you see a meme that just makes fun of someone, just just someone in a dumb position, and it just kind of you gotta laugh at it, and it just kind of it takes the edge off, it takes the edge off, and it makes it a little bit more fun. So, <laughs> yeah. So first of all, why so serious? Why so serious? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you make it, if you make a mistake, uh, just be go, just march and. Uh, uh, just just move toward it and accept it because if you don't it's gonna come back and okay clear clean again it's yeah, gonna yeah. whoop you <laughs> yeah 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 it's gonna kick yeah. your butt it's gonna yeah. kick your butt i yeah. uh yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. so yeah. we just do this uh uh first of all the 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 losers the losing positions and the uh the, the when you lose money those those experiences are the best teachers there is nothing better than uh, you yourself can teach yourself things that no one else can do like 2000 hours of rob uh, whispering in your ear 10 hours of you voila half an hour of me 10 hours yeah. of uh, 10000 hours of sarah unless yeah. you want to listen and you want to cut the uh, yeah. cut the yeah. junk yeah. cut yeah, the cut junk the and just cut the junk and get to the point that okay enough i don't want to make mistakes i don't want to ridicule myself i don't want to make fun of myself anymore and i'm done i'm stuffed with my mistakes it's enough enough is yeah. enough at that point you start then later on you will laugh at yourself you will laugh at the yes. situation with yes. those memes right yes yes hey. exactly and you're you're exactly right and and um because you learn the first thing you learn when you come to the strat i tell everybody the first thing you learn is how to not get killed you how to not get killed. And then after that, you learn how to trade reversals. And then you learn how to set those tight stops and then work those stops to get stopped out with profit. I mean, I'm telling you, keep pushing the stops up. That's what I tell people all the time. And then uh, because if it's a small win, awesome. Yeah, but you get just like I showed you on those charts today where it went two up and then just psh, how many people like for I got a, I got a question for you, Dale. How many people bought into Twitter because of Elon Musk wanting to buy it and all this other stuff and trade the news? I mean, yeah. And we're looking at the charts going, this is two two reversal down on the day. This is not a buy. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody says. And you look at the weeks. I'm going to let me see if I can look at the weeks here. TW, TW, TR. I'm not going to take too much more time for it. I just want to look at the weeks. Yeah. Two two reversal down on the week. Uh, we got a slight two it's 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 choppy it's a choppy mess uh slight two up but it's it's big it's a little doji if you want to look at that uh, on your side Dell. but i'm just saying we were not faked out by this thing we were not we were not like you know we're going to buy a hundred thousand shares in this thing because it's going to go to five thousand we don't make up numbers like that we don't do that <laughs> you know? yeah exactly yeah. so uh i don't want to bore people but uh, because uh, you're talking a lot oh, a lot oh yeah my bad <laughs> <laughs> and you're taking my position here. I'm here to talk. And I haven't yes. talked to, even to my wife for the last uh, seven days. So I've just <laughs> accumulated all of this to talk to you. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let me, yeah, let's get to the, okay. So you, you, you got eight, you've been trading since 2008. That's awesome. Yeah. You, you, you came to the strat. And uh, you've been having fun with strat memes and, and you're learning how to not make those mistakes anymore and following your own rules. And, and I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, and you'll, I don't want to like steal your thunder, but I'm pretty sure you've taken the strat and kind of developed your, developed your own way of, of doing things too, which is amazing. That's awesome. So uh, I think you got some slides for you. You want to go in and jump onto that? That's cool. 
Some slides? Some <laughs> slides. The some all slides? the slides. <laughs> all the slides. It's not about the slides. It's about the information. We both know that. Yeah. So. Oh, I my do... gosh. Look at no, that. No, 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 that? No, 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 no. That's a good stuff for later. <laughs> That's a good stuff. There's that meme. Heck, yeah. Oh, my god. Okay. So this is Netflix. Yes. And I'm sorry for whomever that's holding it. Oh, it's a yes. value company. I'm going to hold it, hold on to it. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah. It, you know what? I don't feel I, some of these people. Yes, I do feel bad for the people that are down here. Let's go. Uh, is this a was this monthly chart year? This is a yearly chart. Holy this crap. These are years. These are not. Year. This is not. These aren't days on. A, this is, these are yearly bars. No, that's good. Keep it. Yeah, um, I'm just going to show you this. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't feel I some of these people that, that bought way down here, they mm -hmm. had time to take profits. You know yeah. who I feel bad for? I feel bad for someone who bought it way at the top. Who's it? What's that price mm -hmm. way at the top? Was that seven hundred? This one is seven hundred, like seven hundred. This seven hundred yeah. one dollar, but that is the spread at the time at the top was so high that this one was just in spread. Yeah, yeah. So the highest price, I'm that's the person I feel bad for because they thought, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it. It's all good, I'm, and they're still holding it, and now the price is two eleven fifty two. Like. Like Ooh, pick a price painful. and cut it. Like pick one, <laughs> just pick one and get rid of it. <laughs> oh man, that's so bad. That's so bad uh, that's for the so bad. For, you know diamond hands is not work. You know what? I don't have diamond hands. I got strat hands, and I'm gonna hold it and don't hands, bro. work no more. <laughs> and there's quick too. It's more like a hot potato type of situation. Oh yeah, it works. exactly. Oh, yep, get rid of it. You got it now, Dale. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So first of all, this is the meme that you were talking about. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Stocks two down on the on the month and week. Yeah. If those kids look more uh, looked at more than daily charts, they'd be highly offended. That's hilarious. Because yeah, hilarious. Yeah, it it, is. Even it people is like you know, we're gonna look at uh, we're gonna look at uh, yearly charts. Okay, but it's actually days. They're actually days. Yeah. Look at this. This is span. monthly, that's and not, you go yeah, you go not. you go in week. It gets even worse. Look at that. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I just want to clarify for everyone, when we say look at weekly charts, we're not saying look at the days on a weekly spread or a monthly spread or anything like no, that. Not no, like no, this, week. not like five days here. No, 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 no. Yeah, Make it simple. Are, Hit yeah. weekly. Look at weekly. Look at that. It's clear. Oh, it's clean. You can see what's going on. Yeah. So I, I'm going to start. Uh, okay, I'm going to put it in two different sectors. And uh, first of all, I'm um, Dell, the day trader. Yeah. Yeah. And you can, the cool guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very oh, cool. yeah. And this is something that everyone should see. And it resonates with me every time that me, myself, I sit in front of a screen every day. I see myself that I hustle. I see you hustle. I see Rob. It's not like because Rob has been trading more than my age uh, that he is easy for him. No, of course, it's easier for him, yeah. but it's never easy. Yeah, right. If true. it was easy, everyone would be uh, millionaire and billionaires by now. Yeah. But it is, it's never easy. So uh, I want to just put some reference that if anyone has more questions, I, I stream every day. So you can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. My main uh, social media uh, application that I use a platform is Twitter at the moment. I have started uh, a collab with a company that I uh, announced it on um, on uh, Twitter the other day, uh, Skin Game, but uh, there could be some changes. So I'm not going to uh, talk a lot about that one, but you can see my performance over there that what I say, the, but yesterday it was 90% of whatever that I'm uh, picking up, it's uh, accurate. It's because I pick up two, two continuations. I pick up two, two reversals. Oh, I feel this gonna go up. Uh, some guy in somewhere or whatever, oh, I'm going to do this and I, I'm going to buy this stock because this is gonna happen. No. No. It is just when buyers are out, sellers going to be in power. Mm -hmm. And when sellers are out or sellers are squid, buyers are in power. This is as simple as it gets. Yeah. So yeah. just, just go, with the, go with the flow. Go with the, go, go with the wave. Like yeah. we, are no, we are not in a position. None of, none of the people that are watching this show probably is in the power to change the direction of markets because no market maker is going to be sitting and watching this show. Hence... Right. Well Mm -hmm. Yeah. As Great. a retail and, trader, we all of us going to follow the big wave that comes and the waves come after the, you know, we, we have all of the cheat sheet and com combo sheet and we know that when we're going to do what. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I, I, I'm glad you said that. I, I, I'm glad you said that. Um, 
none of us are going to, we, you know, some of us have big accounts, some of us have small accounts, but um, people will get in there and they say, well, every time I buy something, it goes down. Every time I buy something, the market's going to go down. And we're like, wait a minute, hold on. You buying something is not going to tip the scales and make this thing go down. Like, you know what I mean? So that's another, that's just another version of, of negative thinking that people get into. Like every time I buy it, it drops. Like that you're not, you know, you're not affecting the, the, the price action that you're not. So, so what, I guess what I'm saying is um, just like kind of reiterate what you said, you got the cheat sheet. We take the reversal, we set our stops, you know what I mean? And, and that's what we do. We have a process and I love talking about the process. So go ahead, man. But I like you said that. Thank you so much for saying that. It's a good reminder for all of us. Of course. So that is true. The market maker will take your money because you enter where they want to, you buy somewhere where they want to sell. So when they want to sell, there is no push behind the market. So price gradually start to dip, dip, dip down. And at some point, there are going to be things. Oh, I just remember something that I wanted to say when you were talking about Netflix. Uh, and at some point, when you want to sell, they said that they, the market maker starts to buy. And then the market goes up again, goes back up again. So that's like, why when I buy it, this thing goes down? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Because they are triggering you. And they are uh, using deceptive psychological methods and all of those level two, uh, I'm reading level two, you can a piece a computer algorithm cannot read level two. How, how you're claiming that you can read level two these days? Oh, I'm reading this and that, and then it's going to go, uh, I just bought it because I thought it's going to go higher. You thought, but no. Look at the chart. You have yeah. a two up red. What are you going to do with this? You're going to buy this? <laughs> right, because and, and it goes back to it. Keep it simple. Red means sell. Red means sell. That means they're selling it. Yes, it's a two up, but it's red. They are selling it. So, so that um, oh Josh, gosh, I, I want when we get to the strat combos, I want to point something out. But there'll be a two two reversal, and people will say, "Is it? Does it matter the color?" Yes, it matters. If you get a two two reversal up, go to the two two reversal. Where is it at? It's at the bottom here. Yep, right here, bottom left on left yeah okay uh, that's rev strap it's right three here. it's three and two two ones i don't see two one two 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 uh, two, two yeah, reversal yeah, yeah these left. ones yeah they are two 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 but yeah left side left side of the screen yeah there you go two two bearish two two, yep, two there you two go bearish, okay two, your two, point yeah. i see the middle okay so if i'm getting in a two two reversal up point at the two two reversal uh up the one right down and right then below. also down here uh, yep two two yep yeah if I'm getting in a two two reversal, yes, it is a two up. But if it's red, that means they're selling it. That means yes, it did pop up, but then they started selling it immediately. So you got to know that stuff. The color matters. People like to change their their charts. It, it's cool, I get it. But people like to change their charts to like purple and yellow, or green and blue, or they change them all to just white, or they change them all to just one color. It, the it, the color matters because it shows you who the who the participation group is in control. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm going off on tangent. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. No, it's all right. <laughs> so, uh, so, first of all, I want to say that I didn't say this part, but I'm going to say now two things that I remember. Three things, actually. First of all, I need to appreciate and thank you for first having me here on, because this is before I start. I should have... That's all before, good. But yeah, uh, thank you for having me on. Thank you for the uh, for the time that and the window you're giving me to provide this information. And uh, second, that I want to say that uh, I'm going to go back to the uh, example of Netflix. You remember the earnings of Facebook <laughs> the <Yes>. other day? <laughs> yes, <laughs> the biggest drop of all time, uh, dollar wise. Mm-hmm. There was yes. no. You know how many millions of dollars got evaporated over over overnight. So if yeah. you're holding, if you're holding, and oh my, I, I'm uh, I'm going to give you the room. I'm not placing uh, stops and stuff. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be owing your house to your broker because yeah. in, in market you can invest a hundred dollars. Not invest. You can have an account for a hundred dollars, but owe your broker a hundred thousand dollars. You show you you just start to short something, and then it starts to go against you, squeeze you up. Then I'm going to tell you how much money you got to pay back to broker. Yeah. Right. Yes. And so, uh, yeah, you're 100 percent right. People people talk about leveraging, uh, using leverage and things like that. There is a there is a there's 
it, there's a difference between having a losses and a bill. And when mm-hmm. you're 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 using margin and leverage, you better know what you're doing, or your losses are a bill. I mean, astronomically, <laughs> astronomically going to be higher. Let me tell yeah. you this. So I know you're proficient, but I'm going to say that. Say, yeah. let's say you're a driver. All right, let's okay. say you're a driver. Right. There is a curve. There's a very sharp curve, and you are so egoistic. Say, you know what? I can handle this. I'm I'm not going to turn. <laughs> What? What did you say? That would be probably the last thing that you say to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle this. Or uh, even better, I'd say the same thing. Um, but it's probably a little bit more. Uh, you're, you're, you're driving at, uh, let's say, 85, 90 miles an hour. Here comes the curve. I don't need to slow down. I know what yeah. I'm doing. I don't need to hit the brakes. And you just leave the cruise control on. You know what I mean? And you try and, and then you skid out. You hopefully you skid or you don't hopefully you, know, or you go. All the way hopefully. Out, or you, so, you're in a ditch. so, yeah. So uh, the moment, the moment that you enter to your trading room or your trading mm-hmm. terminal, your ego should go out. Mm-hmm. If you are not using trading, uh, if you are not using stop loss to trail your stops and to have uh, to have it out level. OK, I was wrong. I'm out. Mm-hmm. You your ego will kill you and kill your account first. Yep. So we are not here to just be right. We are here to trade. Mm-hmm. I'm wrong almost half of the time. Yeah. But what is the difference? I'm wrong, one R, but I'm yeah. right, four R, three yeah. R. There you go. So the math ma- uh, catches up. Then, then everything is in order. I, I thought that this is going to be short. Okay, voila, I was wrong. So kill me. What's going to happen? <laughs> Yeah. I hadn't, I had to trade, the trade didn't work out. And how I get out is that to place your stop, because if you do not place your stop, if you do not have a stop loss, you really don't know what you're doing. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know any professional trader that doesn't use a stop. So if all of the badass, tra- all no, of it's the, okay, it's okay. <laughs> all of those professionals using stop loss, what do you know more than them not to use them? Right. Yeah. So yeah. this is what I wanted to put out. The third one. Sorry for cutting you off. This is no, no, should be it, said. This would be for people for, that they know what you do. All right. If you want to come to trade to to trade with the strat or any other spaghetti based uh, strategy or any other volume base or any anything else, if you want to trade, you need to have trade book. You need to have a playbook. You need to have all your rules significantly sharp, clear, and defined. If you do not, please do a favor. And instead of wasting all of the time and uh, opening it, can give me your money. I'm going to trade against you. I'm going to take it. Please don't do that. You know, right. it's just it's mm-hmm. it's just dumb luck if you're just sitting in front of I'm going to sh- buy because this is spaghetti sales long. No, you need to know what you're doing. All right. This is this three that I want to put out. I know you're yes. gonna crack a uh, crack on this one, spaghetti. You know. Yeah, I was gonna say. Like I was gonna say. I, I um. So when me and you, when me and you first started getting together, uh, can you go ahead and click it to? Uh, I want to. I want definitely want to go that 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 slide. That why traders fail. Um, uh-huh. Yeah. Because I could see that on there. Um. But yeah, I was when me and you first got together. The the strat was a little bit more of the wild wild west, and we kind of toned things down a lot. So, but yeah, you're right. Uh, we used to call the just for everybody else. We used to call the SMAs on the charts spaghetti. Like I don't need no spaghetti on the charts to tell me this thing's going up. I don't need it, and uh, you know I don't need it to tell me it's going down. So, but you know, and then, but we, the strat, the weekend shift is a safe place. So we, you know, we do show, we did, we did do a few shows that shows um, people trading uh, uh, the strat using uh, the SMA uh, along with uh, a couple other things to help confirm what they're seeing because they, because they need that help. But just to, just to explain it to everybody why he's saying spaghetti, we used to call it spaghetti on the charts, but uh, <laughs> I gave that all to Pete, all I gave that to Pete Jordan, yeah. he's got it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Bearbrook Traders, Andras, this is a uh, is a badass trader. I suggest yep. everyone at least to take a look at him. And he's how he defines why most of people lose, and or most of traders. And that is true. That is mm-hmm. among other re- uh, reasons. But mostly, I want to open an account today. I want to go about it. Now, if you want to give uh, advices uh, and uh, advise somebody about trading, you gotta be a CFA. Mm-hmm. But you can kill yourself with yeah. trading. Yeah. yeah. This, this doesn't make any sense. Like, 
you look at it, if you really want to give advice, you need to be certified. But how come you, you for trading, you don't need to be certified? Right. Uh, market yeah. makers and big, big money, smart money needs dumb money. No offense. <laughs> I don't want to call people dumb money. But, uh, you know, contrary to smart is dumb. Right, right, right. right. So yeah. smart money needs dumb money. If I'm dumb enough to just uh, buy into their short, uh, you know what's going to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yes. So. First step, this is something I said, the first thing would be trade book. The second one would be education. I'm bringing this up to say that I'm not affiliated with anyone on this show. I'm not, I'm not advertising and uh, making affiliation with anyone, but I'm suggesting the way that I learned it. I, I knew a whole bunch of information, but I started from zero again with Rob. What was the other platform that was... Uh, before uh, Sapio Group, uh, Rob was in another platform. Uh, um, yeah, that one, uh, whatever yeah, that yeah, was. Yeah. It was that yeah, one, yeah. yeah, in the previous one. I was in the room all the time listening to what Rob says, then listening to other traders, read some books about uh, volume profile, and then start to re read and read and to understand uh, assumption is different than uh, an actual an actual situation and scenario. We assume yeah. that this thing gonna go higher, so we buy it. But in reality, the game is a little bit different. Yeah. It then we get like, to the, yeah. the other game. Then we get mm -hmm. to the other page. Okay. If you don't know by heart and in your dreams, if you don't know what are, what is the combo, I'm just putting it here, just for the. Let me put your head aside. Okay. <laughs> if you don't know, <laughs> if you don't know uh, what what is it, uh, this is what all of the combos that we are using is. Uh, if you are using PMG pivot machine gun, is this one because as simple as drrr, taking all of the stops out and taking yeah. all of the lows or highs out, it's gonna be yep. PMG as simple as that. And if you do, if you want to be more familiar, just get into uh, in touch with Rob and uh, Jermaine himself. And uh, just learn more, but these are the basics. I'm not going to go through basics. And I assume the basics are already covered. If someone needs reference, I suggest to go and watch the in, uh, interview of Jermaine and uh, uh, Benzinga. That one is a, that one's a good one. There are lots of references, but that's the, Thank that's you so the much. foundation. Thank yeah, you. I, I totally appreciate it. Even if you want to build a skyscraper, like, voila, 50, 50 stories, 50 levels, you need to have a hefty and, and good foundation. That yes. foundation comes from your video. As simple as, nothing is more clear and uh, clean than that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Always right. talking the basics. I love, and I, I love talking the basics and, and, and helping out people that um, just, just because I, I tell people all the time, if I only showed one person how to cut a loss, just cut the loser, just cut it. And then how to create a winning position. And that's the only thing I taught them how to do. Then I, then I did it. Then I did my job and that's it. And, and so I appreciate that. That Thank you so much. And, and just like Ryan Faluna, he was on the show a few weeks ago. You need to go see that. It's pretty good. Uh, but um, he said it on the show. Uh, he said it on, on the interview. I'm not promising, you know, hundreds of millions, thousands of dollars. I'm not doing that. I'm showing you, this is what a buy is. This is what a loser is cut the loser and uh, and this is how you create a winning position and uh, and 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 ride the wave man ride the wave <laughs> like yeah you said, exactly though. ride yeah. the wave if ride you wave. do not you are just going against it let me say something mm -hmm. before i just start to my rant it's like i haven't started already <laughs> <laughs> so I love it. uh so uh there is this situation a question if 95 percent of the traders and people that are trading are losing why the heck you're gonna follow them yeah if True. everyone is losing yeah so why are you gonna follow so this this will be the question that's gonna bring me to my rant okay <laughs> to the rant to at least rant. i love it i love it most people just start going and you know you're 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 uh you're, Roger, this is the pre-market to the rant. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let me build this. Let me build italic line and make it in red. Boom. Oh, are we going to have seizure? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let me do this. There you go. Right. Okay. So this, the first line, that's the most important. I'm getting, uh, Jermaine, I'm getting a hundred questions about this one. Right. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you this. If. 
if you are feeling overwhelmed, there is, there is too much to look at. There is broadening formation. There is full time continuity, uh, full time frame continuity. There is time frame continuity. There is a TTO. There are yeah. too much to look at. Just remember this. When you want to fix a water hose, which is the simplest task as it could be, right? It needs to understand you to understand the situation, fix, take the proper tool and fix it in a proper way. You cannot start to attack it with a chainsaw. No, <laughs> you will, you will break it. The whole thing is going to be messy. So you need to pick up the proper tool and you need to do it at the right time with the right amount of pressure. All of this all of these uh, quality measure, measurements, they're going to come along the way. But one thing is for sure, one step at a time. I'm going to tell you how I did it and how step by step I did everything. Okay, let me just put it up here. Oh, we are going to get to this part. We're going to get to this part, but exactly the steps that I'm taking. You can take your own steps, but this is how I do it, right? So to not to be overwhelmed, not to be confused, make it simple. I, okay, I could. I, I wish I could use uh, my own language. <laughs> Let's start with a clear chart. Okay, monthly. Look at that. No indicators. Yes. Nothing. Just here yep. on the chart. You're just looking at the chart. Okay, there is. The, there are these candles. What is happening? Mm -hmm. As simple as that. Okay, yep. the candle is red. It is. There is one more week into the month. Trading good good trading uh, week, uh, entire week into the month, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to see what's going to happen. If you are this red, what are the chances that this thing going to go get uh, green or bullish? I don't know. We, what are yeah. the chance? We're going to say bullish. We are bearish. What are the chances we're going to go bearish? It's very low because we are almost to the end of the month. Yeah. So when you look at it, we uh, today is uh, well. Uh, today is one. Uh, uh, today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. If it was not a long, uh, long weekend, today is one day to the weekend. If this is your weekly candle, what the heck you want to do with going long? <laughs> what do you want to do? To do with long, man? There is no long here. This is deception. What do you yes. want to do? Oh, it's gonna go fill up the gap. It's gonna fill up the gap on the moon, not here, not, not on this planet. <laughs> This is insanity. Like I see, I'm bullish because I think it's going to go. Yeah, it, it's going to go higher. But with whose money? It is not going to be my money. And, and this chart, Netflix, I love Netflix. And I used to trade Netflix a lot, but I have been always bearish. Now we have started a period of indecision. Let me give you a scenario. You see all this long, sorry, all this big gap here. Yeah. So on, on weekly, it is this thing. Yeah. Next week, I'm not, I don't have crystal ball and I don't know what's going to happen. But if next week market starts to open up, go mm -hmm. bullish, what situation are they going to have? <laughs> it's going to be, thing, it's gonna be inside. It's going to be stuck inside. And then, it, yep, it's going to be stuck inside scenario one. And then, and then if, if, if this thing blasts from, let's just say, Dale, is something crazy happens and everybody side, everybody, okay, hold on, Dale. Everybody decides I'm going to stop sharing my password because it's wrong. And I'm mm -hmm. going to buy all my family members a Netflix membership so they're legit. And this thing goes, opens up next week from 211.52 and then blasts all the way back up with the three, what was it, 336? I can't see the, uh, the top line there, the top of the week. But the, for the this week? thing, uh, go back to the weekly chart. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, me and I buy all my family members a freaking Netflix account so that uh -huh. we have a legit Netflix thing, uh, you know, and it goes from 211 all the way back up to the top to clear that week. That's an outside week. For it mm -hmm. to do that would be freaking, it would be ridiculous. <laughs> it would be crazy. It would be. It would be nothing short of a miracle. It would be nothing short of a miracle. And I tell you what, you're not getting none for Christmas because you, you just used up your Christmas miracle right there. I can't see that. I can't see it. Well, let me see I it. still going to share. <laughs> I still going to share. <laughs> it would be crazy for this thing to go from 211 all the way back up to three. What's it say? I can't uh, see. Three, what, three, 352. 352. So, yeah, that's that's absolutely 
it's crazy. Now, if you find, we do say we do trade reversals. If you go uh-huh. to Facebook real quick, can you go to Facebook? FB, uh, yeah. FB, Meta, whatever they call it now. No, FB. FB. Oh, you gotta yeah, go yeah, FB. Yeah, you're going to call it whatever they want. It's still yeah, uh, yeah. Facebook. Yeah, it's yeah. FB. So go back to, there. there's that outside week to the downside. Is that yeah. uh, this weekly charts, right? There, yeah. Yep. Weekly, yeah. Uh, go to the, and there were people trying to bottom pick this thing and it kept going lower, kept going lower. Here's my month. Okay. Now we had a shot and I told everybody, I said, the only way I'm going to trade this thing is if it goes two, two up on the month and it, mm-hmm. and it did it this month. It mm-hmm. did. But what happened? It went two up, got in. And now it went, is that, that's a scenario three, correct? Yep. Yep. Scenario three to the downside. Okay. So I had my reversal. It went up. I set my stops. I got stopped out. And, and then I'm, so then I'm done. I'm done. Mm-hmm. I'm done messing with it. I don't, yeah. I don't try and, I don't try and hold it. I don't try and, in, in, like you said, I said on the other chart, hopium is not a strategy. We don't yeah, trade yeah, yeah. hopium, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and this thing continues to fall. And for me to buy this thing, what was it at 20, I think it was 209 to, to go uh-huh. to reversal up. For me to hold it from 209 all the way down to 185 is irresponsible. It just yeah, is. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, and so, so, but if we will say, I guess I brought up Facebook just to say, people kept trying to bottom pick this thing and it's okay to, to get a reversal off the bottom of the broadening formation and work it up. But daggone it, the strat keeps us from doing something stupid. Red means sell, green means buy. When the bars go red, that means they're selling it. And yeah. if you don't have a stop loss, you need to make a decision. How far am I going to hold this down? You know what I mean? And like I got, I, um, I think it's a really important point, Dale. I really do. And uh, so I'm sorry to get hung up on it. But uh, CrowdStrike, go to Crowd, C R W D, please. Uh, I've been talking about Crowd in this one. I wanted, I wanted Crowd for the for the quarterly. Uh, you got mm-hmm. quarterly charts on this mug. Yeah. Um, yep. Quarter. What, what do we say on the quarter? Hammer, right? I want to buy this. I'm a tank. I want to get in at, what was it? Uh, um, two, uh, 232.83. Yep. Three, 2.32. And I'm in. And I did. I bought it. And then it triangled me out. I got stopped out. It hit it again. I got in again. I put my stops at, uh, I put my stops, uh, you know, and uh, I think it's a 2.07 or something like that. I know that's pretty deep. I know that's, a real, but, I'm, but I'm trying to work this for a quarterly. So as long as it's not a loser, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I can put it there. Um, anyway, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is it started, here's my day. So it went two and two reversal down. Okay. All right. Kind of pop back up and then outside day, the day, uh, not today, but yesterday. So now mm-hmm. you got three, two continuation down Yeah. and you know, it just cut it. I'm done. You know what I mean? And cut it, mm-hmm. but I'm glad I cut it. Because I was able to, while the market was going down, I worked, I worked SPXS and SQQ and made dang near all those losses back up. And now I'm back mm-hmm. even. So I'm good. But <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. The strat shows you, okay, this is no good. I need to go ahead and cut it. And it was a super small position anyway. Um, but it was, I had my rules and this thing's going to the downside. I need to get rid of it. I cut it. And instead of just holding on, hoping my hammer goes back and forth and praying it goes back up, nah, man, just I'm done. I'm done with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and again, I'm trading common. I know you gave me a couple faces like, what are you doing? <laughs> but I'm like, what the heck are you doing here, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Trading common, small, small position and stopped out. OK, fine. Get back in. It started working a little bit more and then stopped out again. And then it's super small, small super small loss. Again, able to make it all back up today. So it's yeah. all good. So <laughs> it's all good. But I'm just all saying good. you don't have to marry your positions. You don't have to like, I'm just going to hold this go. thing forever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Even marriage has a stop loss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You hit to a point. I don't want to lose more. Mm-hmm. You hit it. Like you finish it. So mm-hmm. as, I, as I was saying that, uh, this is just was, uh, I mean, the, simple, the sentence is simple and I just put something that you remember uh, you as audience, I mean, to just just take a step, one step at a time. Just take a chart, okay, take a stock, look at the monthly, look at the weekly, look at the daily. If all of them are aligned, three of them, there are not a hundred, there are not a thousand, there are just a three of them. I'm a day trader. I don't want to swing stocks. I'm not staying overnight or a week uh, in, in any stock, right? So when I go in and get out the, in the same day, 
I just pay attention to this. My stock mm. should be in collaboration, coordination, in uh, synchronization, whatever adjective you want to use. All of these points should be in line. End of story. So pick everything at the time. And then when you look at, look at the pieces of information at its own time, you don't need to consider and think about everything at once. When you, when you find a stock that this stock is, or like it has FTC, full-time continuity, or FTFC, or full-time, full-time continuity, or it has continuity, time frame continuity, it has FTC. Uh, so you look at it, then you can draw your broad information. If it doesn't have continuity, if it doesn't match, if it's stuck in a mother bar, you don't need to do that. Just move on. Save That's yourself. a good idea. Yeah, I like it. Yeah why, yeah, why waste your time? Yeah, exactly. So just spend your time as an investment somewhere that it's going to pay back. Because you will see later, I'm going to explain. My job is here is to, uh, you know, like, um, how can I, I don't want to say that it becomes a little bit uh, political. So um, I, here my job is to just sit and dismiss stocks. Dismiss mm-hmm. stocks. Next, you will see. Next. Look, you see, yeah. <laughs> uh, where did it go? I just wrote it somewhere that uh, next. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah, look at this. Next. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. We, got, we start here. Let's let's go faster. I don't want to take it forever. Okay. Don't do drugs. Hopium is, is bad. Don't do it. Holding and hoping is not a strategy. We are here to go in. I go in here. If it breaks this level, I'm going to get out. If it breaks this level, I'm still going to get out. I'm not going to stay hold and hope because I hope this goes to that level and I hope make more money or I hope it goes back up or goes back down and I stop losing money. No, yeah. we don't hope here. Cut your yeah. losses and invest it somewhere that you're going to run. Yep. The key to sustainability and consistency is to just stay with the big waves and just cut your losers. If you are making one R and losing one R, that's not sustainability. You are not consistent. But if you are making, if you are making, uh, if you're losing one R and on the other side, country where money walks or many, where money runs or where it works, it is four R or five R, then you are making money. Then this is how you can sustainable. Then you cannot hope because hope doesn't work. If it doesn't work, I'm out. Yep, it's done. Just yep. rip the stitch and uh, finish it. <laughs> remembering, remembering that we decide how much we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose ten dollars, a hundred, or ten thousand, right? This is how much we decide to risk in the market. But market decides how much we're gonna make, and this mm-hmm. is very important to understand. Oh, I, I want this to get it. No, we we do not decide where market gonna go. We just decide how much we're gonna lose. Then the market gonna gives us so better to understand this and have a proper strategy, put everything in order to move forward. And then later on, when you open the trade, oh, I don't know where it's going to go. So if you, if you don't know where you're going to go, why you even open the trade and risking this money? Yeah. Time frame continuity or FTC is the key. And any strategy, even those spaghetti, they need to have it. If they don't, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. Right. Uh, reversal trends, they have their own... Uh, trading reversals they have their own strategy and let me be clear not to have not to have conflict with your words from a couple of uh, hours ago that you have been talking uh, <laughs> i mean by reversals you are bullish market is bullish on long time frame but daily today it it falls so it's bearish but tomorrow it gives you a little candle so you get to this situation Market is bullish. It drops. And then this would be a reversal, right? We take yes. these reversals in, in trend and in compliances with time, full time frame continuity. Yep. There is no reversal. Everything is bullish. No, I'm going to go bearish. You, okay. I don't want to <laughs> to that one. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. No home. Yeah, everything's, it's, it, they're buying it on the week. They're buying it on the month. They're buying it on the quarter. It's two up on the year. And you got one two two reversal in a day. I'm gonna put everything in it and short it. Like that's dumb. <laughs> that's dumb. Then then you're telling me, oh, I got offended, Dell, by you saying dumb money. Okay, that's dumb. You're super smart. IQ 189, but that was a dumb move. You should not uh, <laughs> sell that. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah. So oh. no home runs. Don't think of oh, I'm gonna uh, you know all these uh, shippers, runners, Bitcoin, uh, marijuana, can- uh, cannabis, or whatever else. Uh, 
any other any other uh, high flyer any other home run just forget about them they happen once in a blue moon just yeah. think about small profits making profits small trades hustling and moving your way forward and accumulating like this it. is not about this is a marathon it's not a sprint you're not just going to run and make millions no 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 you, you're supposed to start to trade as a career you start to make trades and properly trade every day to get to the point that you're consistent you know it's not about to just make trades to just go yellow in tesla to with the hopes of hopium of you're going to make lots of money yeah I you mentioned it. it. I'm just going to just hit on it again. We do not predict here. We are not a bunch of uh, fortune tellers sitting, reading uh, our palms today and looking at Zodiac and say, like, yeah, I, I predict <laughs> market. This is going to happen. Would you believe that on TikTok, there is this girl that she predicts based on Zodiac and stuff or moons and stuff that today going to go short? And s- Can you believe that? That's crazy. Yeah. That's ama- That's that's ridiculous. It might be good in re- entertainment, but that's not what I want to put my money in. That's that's. Oh nuts. come on, man! We do not predict yeah. actionable signal. A stop loss here. If it hits, if it hits, if it doesn't, guess what? I'm out. Yeah, yeah. Run. Oh yeah, exactly. And I, I want to go back to my. Well, you don't 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 move anywhere. Don't change it. I, and I don't want to lose your point. Uh, the the crowd trade. I can't mm-hmm. stare at the charts every day. I can't. I, I'm telling you, this week has been it's pretty rough week at work. <laughs> Right. So, so I, you know, I take this reversal on the, on the quarterly, I set my stops and I might not be able to look at it until the end of the day or end of the, you know what I mean? In a couple of days, you know what I mean? I'm always here. I'm always looking at stuff. Uh, but I'm just talking as my point of view as an average everyday trader, I might not be able to look at the charts. And, um, but once you real, okay, this is not coming back up. This is, this is definitely, the sellers are in control of this and and looking ahead. We do, but we do look, we do forward thinking. We do look be forward thinking. What's the next two? Well, obviously in crowd, if this thing continues, it the only thing it could do is go two two reversal down on the week. And then that's completely taken out my stop on the quarterly. And that's bad. Uh yeah, look at that thing. There's I guess you're sitting that? here. I yeah. guess you're sitting down here. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, I, I stopped it way before then. But yes, it, it the, for me to sit there and go, we, we don't predict, but we're forward thinking. So uh, what's the next two in the week? If I stay in this position, do I have any hope of this thing going uh, two two reversal back up or two one two reversal back up? And right now it's no. The answer is is absolutely not. So that's you, you just, I had to get to. OK, I'm guy. I, I got to cut this thing. I'm done. And, um, and I, you know, I, yes, I'm, I'm cutting it before it hits my quarterly stop, but that gone it, that, that preserves some capital. Okay. And mm-hmm. I was able to make those losses up quick, uh, mm-hmm. within today. So, I mean, um, I, you know, I didn't get killed. I didn't get murdered in this position. Uh, but not to derail what you're saying. I'm just saying, uh, there's a lot of, we're, there's, you're a day trader. You know what I mean? I'm a tank. I like to do monthly, weekly, quarterly trades. I do hold stuff overnight and then, and then you'll have a gap down. That's, you know, that, that's, that's, you know, wow, this stinks. You know what I mean? There's this huge gap down. Um, just cut it. It's better to cut it. And then, just, then hope and pray it's going to come back up. You know what hopium. I mean? So I'm just, I'm just, yeah. Hopium. Yeah. So I'm just kind of reiterating what you're saying, man. And that's, that's, those are good lessons. And, yeah. and I, I can hear the passion in your voice because uh, these, this little rant and these slides is are important because like, again, that's from your experience, experience trading FTX or excuse me, Forex and all that stuff since 2008, man. I mean, you four years it. already four years in, in equity. I, I have enough experience here as well. It's not that just yeah. like 2018 that I will be just like, Oh, I'm new here. No, no. Yeah. I'm yeah. About. You're yeah. not just some brand new guy. Yeah. Yeah. You, you've seen it. You've seen the, you felt the pain you've seen it and you're trying to help us not, uh, um, get wrecked so we appreciate it keep going man yeah. keep going yeah, right. <laughs> so uh, uh if if two of us get together to talk i'm sorry for the audience <laughs> it's gonna be a long <laughs> one <laughs> yeah. okay so these are the again uh risk management uh it, this is something that uh, this is actually the one that it resonates with me the most because uh listen uh there is no one trade that is going to make your fortune, but there's going to be one trade that going to finish your career and it's going to put an end to your dreams. So do not forget risk management. Risk management mm-hmm. is like a flag. It never touches the floor. 
okay mm-hmm. you never leave it uh, at the door just just follow risk management even because even a, a spaghetti tra- a, a strategies they can be successful if if they if they follow risk management yeah uh, keep it simple keep the chart simple if you're going to look at the 50 or 60 or 30 or 40 charts every day if you have one extra variant your job going to be double analysis if it uh, if they, you have extra one you're going to be triple you have to do triple job to just understand what's going on just keep it simple all right mm-hmm. just keep the analysis simple prepare yourself for immerse yourself in something uh, dynamic but don't complicate things mm-hmm. simple makes the winner yep all right yep and here is the okay 90 i'm changing this to 95 if 95% of people lose money in stock market why should i uh, why should i practice what all the losers do losers in not a sense of tagging somebody losers in a sense of losing money mm-hmm. uh, so here i am i'm sitting in front of the chart every day how i do things uh, all right it's very simple when i want to to trade trade for tomorrow it starts from today and if it is monday i do it on sunday right sunday evening so today i'm i'm going to sit and check start uh, stocks where i'm going to check stocks right i'm going to take a look at uh, run strat i'm going to take a look at uh, run strat is a project by victor is just one of the strat traders at uh, uh, I'm telling you again, he, so far, I'm not affiliated. And so far, this project is free. And you can take a look at if you're using TOS, uh, Thinker, uh, Swim, you can have all those screeners uh, for free as well. Just contact me and you can have these. You can see yeah, like these screens just pop up on your phone uh, or, uh, or they, you can get an email about them. So you will see. Sometimes I come at my station, I'm having breakfast and my phone pops with a special ringtone. And I know that voila. Baba is rich, has reached 500,000, has already broken yesterday's high. So I'm already, I already know what I'm going to be looking at today. I already am yep. aware. I'm not just, I'm not yep. lost to see that, oh, what I'm going to do, what the stocks I'm going to look at. No, 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 no. I already know what I'm going to look at. Mm-hmm. So I sit every day, like after market, I sit and screen, use my screeners, these ones, these, there are three of them, bar chart. I look at it very few, not not much. Just the most I look at the uh, run strat, pick up stock. This is from today, by the way. I pick up awesome. stocks. Yeah, I just like believe Futu. I love Futu, right? And uh, I hate plug, but uh, recently it's hot. It's just going to down to drains, and Twitter is working and safe. So I'm looking at this for tomorrow. Uh, I'm looking for these. Looking at these for tomorrow. What does it mean? I will look at these to, to find full time frame continuity. All of them should be green. Well, not, all of them should be bullish or all of them should be bearish. Mm-hmm. All of the time frames. So I have yeah. harmony. If I don't have harmony, I either tag them in conflict category or Ooh. I simply remove them. Right? That's awesome. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Then I move to the next step. B, what do I do? Look at Twitter. I need to bring it up. You mentioned Twitter, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. It's junk and daily. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. How, why you want to look at this? Look at this. It's yeah. barcoding. It's barcoding up, down, up, down. Oh, barcoding. Do? I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That makes sense. Yeah, because I would yeah. say mother bar. Right? Yeah, I would say. Uh, uh, that's a mother bar issue. Yeah, that's and what it, I would say. It is a very issue. small, it's a very small broadening formation, which yeah. you cannot profit from. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's very, very important. Yeah. Yeah. So here you have the broad information, right? But you, we know, you cannot profit from this. This is no nowhere to go, right? Yeah. Look at this. You cannot profit from this. What are you mm-hmm. gonna do? It's barcoding. It's not going anywhere. Barcoding. So I like that. What we do? Barcoding. Yeah. From from this. Uh, da, 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 da. So I remove those that are barcoding. Like they are not going anywhere. Like it's up, down, up, down, up, stuck. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Stuck. stuck. Yeah. In another word, in another word, if it has mother bar issues and it's coiling. Yeah. It's oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. You're, you're, try, you're trying to push my buttons. That's what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> if it has if it has mother bar issues, why you want to look at it? You, you don't have better things to do in your life to just look at some conflict that even the conflict doesn't know what to do. Just move yeah. on, move to something that's running. Yeah. Then define level. I just sit and say, okay, I pick up Futu for tomorrow. Everything is all right. I sit. 
weekly level. I mean, I'm not in my uh, proprietary platform. I use Das Trader Pro. Mm-hmm. And so in Das Trader, I have hotkeys. I hit them and then set levels in monthly, weekly, and daily. So I know when awesome. that line is red, okay, that line presents a uh, high or low of monthly or mm-hmm. weekly. This, mm-hmm. this support, this level going to be uh, supporting my hypothesis that if this level breaks as a uh, high of weekly, I know I, on daily, I can see that, oh, this level is red. So I'm, I'm hitting it already. I need to be careful with reversals here. So oh, I, I said, I define, yeah, I define levels and then uh, I define bias and then make the watch list. So when I come to the, when I come to, uh, in the morning, now this next day, when I come to the morning, uh, my uh, trade station around 8.30, something like that, at which my trade, uh, trade, the trading show starts, I check stocks have already gapped up, right? Mm-hmm. And then mostly I do it at nine. This at nine o'clock is very important to me. At nine o'clock, I, that's the, a, that's a, I don't want to say pivot point, but for me, that's an that's a apex point. So yeah. for me, it's a decision making. If it's gonna decision go, or I'm going yep. to yeah, decision making. If if I'm going to keep it, or I'm just going to put it on uh, on, on 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 a list to check it later during the day or never. Mm-hmm. So then I'm going to check to respect to the uh, with the respect to uh, money management and risk management. I'm going to be sitting at the market to chart to trade after nine. This is from before. I'm going to put this one 9.45. I don't execute trades before 9.45 because uh, this is something not related to Strat. And I know it from somebody that was on the floor and talked to money uh, market makers. You can disregard this point. No, if, it's okay. If no, no, it's, it, it, it actually lines up with what we teach. So go ahead and... and, and yeah. So, ahead, uh, so, uh, so ooh, what did I do here? So, uh, so here, this is the thing. If... I'm not going to execute trades before 9.45. Previously on one minute, I will be done by 9.45. Yeah. But one minute has too much noise. And when uncertain time comes, you, get, you easily get slaughtered. Yeah. And I don't want that. I want to have a career out of this. I don't want to just go in and make a whole bunch of money and start to post and shoot post at, nine, at 9.45. Oh, I'm done for today. No, I'm not yeah. going to do that. No. I prefer to sit here, do it easy. And then start to trade 9.45 and 10. Yeah. And then you will see that what happens. Keep it fun and, uh, and uh, track uh, market with alerts. That's what I do during the day. And this is the, this is the most important. If you make it boring by just looking at the charts, you're going to do some... Dumb stuff. Dumb, like dumb, dumb stuff. stuff. Uh, dumb, dumb stuff. stuff. <laughs> yeah, dumb stuff. <laughs> because if you, if you just keep staring at the charts, our brain, I mean, at least my brain, maybe, maybe that's, uh, I'm not uh, in, ev- in ev- evolution. I'm not, uh, uh, you know, yeah. uh, advanced Superman. enough, but my, yeah. my brain tricks me and my brain just gives me signs that they don't exist. And when I go back later, it's like, why the heck did I do that? Yeah. Because yeah. I look at it, I have been looking at the show for the five minutes. It's boring. So I always vibe with the sound. You can listen. I have new new soundtracks uh, on my stream. I, I look at the nine gag. I just go different places and do a whole bunch of stuff to just oh, keep okay. myself keep myself busy. And then once my alert hits, then it means actionable signal is about to happen. Ah. It's not happening. It's about to happen. So you said and it just, look, just before. Just watch it. Okay. Exactly. That's hey. why many times I might get triggered and go back and set it again. Set it again. Set it again. Yep. When it's barcoding. Go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Because it's barcoding. Yeah. yeah. And you're right. So instead of instead of keeping your your mind fresh and always ready, you you're you're in you know the alternative is you're staring at this chart for for hours and you're you're okay. There. Oh, it's a two two reversal up. I see it. Finally, it's going up. And you buy into it. And then, but you're, you know, you've been looking at this all day long. Rob calls it getting stuck in the vortex. And yeah. this thing is barcoding. I love yeah. that term. This thing is barcoding, yeah. doing nothing, barcoding. stuck doing in nothing. this mother bar. Should yeah. I say the C word That's that they said it before? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's and, coiling and going nowhere. So oh, I, yeah. have the, I, have the, I have the screen. It's free. Uh, so far, this is something that we have. Rob is a very good source to also get stocks to trade. Um, I mean, he posts out everything on Twitter. Here we have it. And then this is something. So that was the process. Like, yep. and now, how do I do it? As a trader, how do I do it? 
I prefer, I, I prefer, I prepare stuff and I prefer to prepare them from the night before. So when I go to the market the next day, I have an idea. Okay, I had 25 stocks on my chart and three of them, they were hot. And from those three, I got alert for two of them in pre-market. Yeah. So I know what I'm going to look at. I yeah. come fresh. I'm drinking my, uh, I'm uh, drinking, I'm not booze at the time, but I'm drinking my juice and I'm drinking water, keeping hydrated, hydration nation, watching yeah. uh, shows. And then there you go. Yeah. I start to trade. If, if I'm not trading, this is a funny fact. You can, you can check this one with stream. If I'm not uh, trading, I'm doing, you know, I have written, I'm tweeting and shit posting and doing memes and yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. at 10 yeah, in the morning. Yeah, being having fun. Yeah, keep engaged. You're just yeah. keeping engaged. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. I disqualify trades before market opens. Uh, this is the, the next, I explain this one. And then I, tr- I watch this stuff. Sometimes I remove the stocks 925. Because 925 defines, you know, when volatility starts to peak, volume comes in and yep. everything starts to get heated. At yep. the time, if something starts to, go the other way that i want don't want to go yeah down yep. to the drains i remove it yeah that's a good idea then, yeah then by 11 11 30 i'm normally done uh so this is something that uh i will rant about it not now but on my twitter so if people want they can follow me and check uh journaling is the major i have uh, underlined it here journaling is a major part of trading if you are not journaling, this is the same as not having a trade book, not having a playbook, and hence, you know, you don't know what you're doing. If you are not journaling, if you are not keeping a track of what you're doing, how are you going to know that on April 21st, 2021, what did you do and why you lost money? What was the result of your mistake? What mistakes did you make and why you made those mistakes? Yeah, that's huge. Yes. So, journaling yes. is huge he is a huge huge part you know yeah. man everyone talks about oh my strategy if if this is spaghetti that one if line that one but tell me how many people talk about psychology that's yeah. what i want to do this thing for me is supposed to be a i mean we are one hour into this but uh i'm ta- i want to talk about psychology way more than that i want to talk about 212 because yeah. 212 is clear mm-hmm. your kids can do it i swear to jesus everyone can do it <laughs> It's, it's simple. Two, one, two. If this goes above this line, then you go with FTFC and then you buy or short. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's it. It's not You're complicated. Right. The complicated part is the part that no one talks about it, or at least few people talk about it. Yeah. Because journaling and psychology part of it, which I have a huge amount of, I don't know how to, I should maybe even write a book. I have lots of notes. I have lots of notes, but I have so much to talk about psychology, right? Journaling, you may feel as, as an extra part of it, but believe me, if you do not journal, you will get lost because you will lose your track of what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Like Listening it. to podcasts, having open mind and keeping your horizon open, wide open is very important. I'm not trading in spaghettis, but I know those people that they are doing it, how they are doing it and why they are doing it, which point is the losing point for them. So at least when I know, oh, you see this point, probably all of those spaghettis, they're going to, go, they are going to say go short. Although for me, it's a 2-2 two, two bullish reversal. <laughs> I know what yes. I'm doing, man. And, they, hammer... and, that's what we, and, then, and then they get mad because we'll get on Twitter. It's a 2-2 two, two reversal in they face back up to the highs, triangle they out, and then they get mad because... We had green days on their red days, like, and I haven't, I haven't been, I've been so busy. I did not get on Twitter yet today, uh, but I'm telling you, I know daggone well, uh, the, the Fed was talking today. The president was talking today, uh, you know, uh, lots of headlines about, uh, you know, war and things like that. And yeah. I, I guarantee the Stratters posted green days or very small losses losses and the people the ta people and the spaghetti people they hate it they hate it and yeah. you know i'm gonna say all of it I'm not, i know i'm talking general but um the person that's still holding netflix from three three uh-huh. three twenty six is not laughing at our memes they're mm-hmm. not because they're taught to just keep holding it it'll come back and they mm-hmm. got more than too much money in it and uh and and it's i don't know it is sad but i'm just saying um, that's why we're here and we're giving people in information and, and the psychology, you're right. The psychology and the journaling, it might not be the most sexiest thing and people might think it's boring, but dag on it. 
uh, if it's if it's what I got to do to create those winning positions, add to them and defend them with tight stops, that's what I'm going to do. If that's my motto and I wrote that on my journal, no, nah, I held that thing way too long. That wasn't no tight stop. You just you just holding. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then I need then that that's a, that's a correction I need to make. If if I if I did I create a rating position? Yes. Uh, did I add to it? No, I didn't have enough time. It, it was it was it was too too reversal in the 15 minute too quick. And yeah. okay, so when did I start trading? I bought this right at 930. Well, what's my rule say? I don't trade before 945. We let them open. That's Rob says this all the time. Let them open. Uh, it, this, this leads into a good question. I, I don't want to stop you, but it's just good points. I was trying to summarize for you. Down yet. Someone, uh, someone actually got a hold of me on in the forums on Sepia and said, hey, um, you know, Rob says let them open. But if what if I have a losing position? Do I just hold this losing position until not you know nine forty five and then cut it? Like after I let them no, I would say if it if it's a gap down situation and you tell me uh, Dale what you think, but I would say if it's a gap down situation, it's a loser, and, it, and as soon as it opens, it's a loser. I say cut it, and then, but if it re, and then I say cut it, and then if it goes two to reversal back up on the sixty, you know what I mean? Then you can get back in and and then and, and I'd rather you be in a winner. Then, like you said, hopium and hoping this thing comes back to where it was before it gapped down. Um, your thoughts on that? Should I should I cut my losers? Should a stratter cut their losers before nine forty five, or is it is the nine forty five rule only for executing? All right. So first of all, never ever average in on a losing position. Never ever, because your hypothesis was wrong, and doing that just gonna hurt you more. Mm-hmm. And once that thing goes against you, you start to rip. Oh, the pain gonna get in a position to the point that you cannot hold it anymore. And I right. have done that a lot. I'm mm-hmm. not talking about, oh, do this, do that. No, 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 no. I have done that. I, I have done my share size of this thing. I have done my share, my size. Of dumb I, stuff. <laughs> so I've done stuff. Uh, so first of all, whenever you want to make a decision like that, mm-hmm. first of all, why uh, depends on which, which time frame you're looking at. Because if you are in something, period to the market 15 minutes or 30 minutes so you have two flat times if you are on 30 minutes 9 30 and 10 is a decision making time right mm-hmm. so on 9 40 9 55 you're gonna look at yourself and say like okay so where i am now in next five minutes can they gonna close and the next can they're gonna open okay what i'm going to do this is your solution if i was not in this position what would i do mm. would i enter Ooh. to this position or not Mm, that's good yeah if you are not entry if you say no no no, this is bad ah uh, you have to get out but mm-hmm. if you say that i would go because i enter with one hour and atr of one hour is whatever and on this stock in is is two dollars and i'm just one dollar in okay i still have one dollar to go maybe it I can risk, yeah here. i can risk that if it's if yes that, that goes back to risk management i like that keep going keep going that's good yeah. So this is the point. Uh, the the you know we have two things that we are we need to understand, especially about indicators. We have spaghetti nonsense that they're gonna tell you the direction, which are f- like a third wheel for an adult. They're ridiculous. We have other ones that they have significant amount of calculation that you can do that manually, but it's time consuming. It is unnecessary and it is energy consuming. I can sit here and calculate ATR with the Excel sheet. Why, but why should I do this with, with dropping an ATR on my chart? I drop it for a reason, okay? I drop it for a reason. ATR is average true range. Is It, it gives you an average of how much a, a stock can move a day since open, okay? Mm-hmm. This is an average absolutely absolutely you cannot rely on it but this is to have an idea to yeah. okay this is, I can go three dollars okay can go three dollars my stop is six dollars okay so even by the end of the day i might i might not be all out because the stock doesn't have that enough juice and i may get a reversal if yeah. i'm based on weekly like this yeah. is an idea right mm-hmm. so normally people pay attention to uh, and ATR uh, or ATR themselves, but you have to use it as a tool. Like when you look at it as on weekly, uh, like this drop on what is it? Twitter. Look at the Twitter move on weekly. 
you Ooh. you move normally four dollars sixty cents. For instance, this is an average. I know you hate it when we talk about indicators, but no, I can okay. see I can see your face. But no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> this is this is something people can use and help, Good. and it's gonna help them to understand it better. We have four dollars move on Twitter every week. Then you move on daily, and you look you, on daily. You have three dollars eighty two cents of move. This tells you that if you're exceeding this amount. This, there is more likely that you're going to reach that, that amount to the higher week, right? You can mm-hmm. have lots of, uh, uh, what's it called? Lots of uh, uh, assumption on this, but this is something that you can use, right? You can consider the movement of the stock during one hour. During one hour, how much this stock moves? If this is stock, this is the answer to that question that you asked. If this stock is moving uh, uh, $1 every hour on average, if I'm getting a two-two continuation, does this gonna rip my face or it's gonna go back up and fill up and I gonna uh, right. get safe, right? Mm-hmm. So here is what you can normally look at yourself. But this is I'm going to repeat what I answered first. At every point, like broad information that you draw from wherever you are, just look at if you didn't have a position and you were looking at the chart right now, what would you do? What does broad information, full-time continuity, levels, what this, yeah. what does they tell you? Is market is bouncing off of weekly low last week or market is breaking, going, ripping to the upside? Because if market failed, uh, you, you said something. Look at this, Facebook. Uh, look it's at been, Facebook. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It just, no, it, this is a little bit, uh, you have to retype it. Today actually was the day, at the end of the day, look at the, that you became three on uh, on FB and actually uh, not three sorry it actually breached uh, the this the mother bar look at that yep yep this yeah. was actually this was the time so today at the end the end the end the end the end of the day this happened right so mm-hmm. you wouldn't trade that Rob always says that where and when things happen is very important yep. This break yep. happened on the last hour of Friday. Last hour of the day is very important if it happens in the first hour of the day. Yeah. So, so if market fails uh, to, to um, if market bounced off of this level, it's very important to pay attention and you see if, if you want to keep your trade or not, because this easily can become one of these and no one can say <laughs> that when it's going to be. That's Nobody true. Yeah. When that. things occur matter. And, and, and and no one can say when it's going to do it, and that's why we 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 hit those stops, and that's yeah, that's 100% exactly right. Hit the stop and then forget about it. All right, yep. and so- that's why and that's why I and and I, that's why I tell people push their stops up. Okay, cool. You got a two two reversal. Uh, what was it? The daily. Go back to the daily. Um, yeah. Let's say uh, yeah. Let's just say you were one of these lucky people that got this hammer over here, left side. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. down down way down no, the bottom no, front front. yeah that guy you got that hammer right there and you took it on the very next day right there uh, not that one yep right there you get in here now you're holding this thing now you're in it you're adding to it it's awesome every Keep pushing day. your stops up and then you Man, probably get this, stopped out this. you might yeah i don't know that could be an ad let's just say it's an ad you didn't get stopped this is out an ad that. Yeah, break is that look at the size of this and then after yeah. it it reaches back up and pushes back up. Yep. And then you this keep you keep going. You keep pushing your stops up. Keep pushing your yeah. stops up. Now you got a two, one, two down. Reversal down. What's that price mm-hmm. right there? Which one? This this break is 226. 226 okay. from where did it go? 226. Uh, yeah, 226, 226 from where was the start? The start is the, okay. If you say the actionable signal from coming from 192. Yep. The 192. actionable signal. Yeah, one ninety two to what was the end at the top? It is uh, it is thirty three dollars. It's seventeen percent. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, yeah. yeah, it did go. It did go two one two back up on the day, but but look what mm-hmm. it did. Who held that? Okay, if you mm-hmm. if you held all the way through that, hoping it's going to keep going, you lost. You got you got nothing. You Opium. got no. nothing. So, uh, good day, sir. <laughs> good day. Good um, day. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was just, that's why I keep telling, and it's really hard to swing right now. So I just keep telling people push your stops up. Thank you very much for the, the RTI. I do like that because you're right. Um, if I've, I've got experience, I've already, I've already, uh, identified 
and uh, my level of risk, what I'm le- willing to risk on this trade. And I open it. I next day opens gap down, uh, mm-hmm. but I still have a little bit more room. It hasn't completely stopped me out. You know what I mean? I could probably push my stops up so I don't lose all of that. But I mean, mm-hmm. but then it goes to two reversal back up. I don't average down. I just wait until it's, you know what I mean? And then it's good. I can hold it, but that's time frame continuity in your favor. I'm sure mm-hmm. that, I mean, I'm sure that week and that month is still green. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that day is going to go back green, but um, yeah, that's definitely actionable signals, yeah. time frame continuity, bonding formations. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, let me hit them a little bit, a bit fast. I don't want to make it uh, so long, but remember, I'm going to say it again, ATR and ADR, average true range and average daily range. Okay. Uh, let me just see average daily range. Yeah. Average day range. So yep. yeah, these two, just look at them on your own risk. I'm not promoting uh, spaghetti, but this is something that, that calculation that actually helps because there's a logic. Each stock is a different animal and each move differently. Tesla post, like uh, post split. Yeah, yeah, post split and pre uh, post split and uh, prior yeah. to that split. And then Nvidia, the same, they become a different stock. So we need to keep all of this into into account yep. when you're trading this. Yep. So, and then uh, after that, I'm going to be have uh, lunch and then more uh, more posts. I mean, I'm not going to say it loud. I cannot, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, do, I cannot, I'm going to say it. Listening yeah. to podcasts, journaling, and then being honest in journaling. Journaling is not about to show off and flex on anyone. Journaling is, a, is, is for you and to understand, oh, is to understand better that what works for you uh, better, right? Yes, yes, so, yes. Uh, so then, uh, okay, so then we get to the part review adjust for swings. If you're swinging anything, you just need to trail your stop. Trailing stop is the one actually that saves you from lots of trouble. And now no Facebook can happen. If you have a major, a major news uh, like earnings or conference call or, or splits or SPAC or anything, you must sit and watch the stock manually because as far as I know, Lots of brokers, they don't execute your stops in post or pre-market. So your right, stops won't correct. work. So you have to correct. sit manually, lose, lose sleep, and then be uh, like a, a maniac just sitting in front of the chart. If the conference call is what are in Shanghai, uh, f- four in the morning, your time, your problem. You've got to sit and look at your chart to see that if it's going to collapse or uh, yeah. rip. Yeah. So uh, you're going to adjust this. And uh, there is another one. Sundays are the best and weekends are the best because we have first you have the uh, weekend show uh, by you and then we have all of the good stuff which this weekend yours truly gonna be there yeah <laughs> and then <laughs> and then the yep. other one gonna be that you're gonna sit and then review what you did uh, wrong or right and be honest about it yeah yeah so the last part which this part, everyone does it differently, but this is how I do it. And people can completely stop from here and then go home and have their life. But I appreciate if they sit uh, to the end of this. So how I pick up stocks. Picking, picking stock is like picking up a route to your destination, right? You want to go from West Coast to East Coast. You want to go from North to South. You want to go from anywhere to other, uh, other place. You need to pick up a proper route. And that route is uh is is your stock selection because you're you're gonna go to the profit the, if you do not uh, pick a proper uh, route pick a proper uh stock you will get to bombs you get to uh, dead end road and then it will not work yeah so this is how i pick up stock and this is just i'm not going to explain a lot but this is just based on my experience it could be customized to anyone this is for day traders with uh PDT size account, not a full size account because those people, they have probably access to uh, terminals and uh, proper terminals that they don't need to do this. But you, this is for day traders with uh, PDT size pattern day trader around 25 to 100,000, $25,000 uh, $25, account to a full size account, which is a $100,000 account. So I pick up stocks when the weeks and the shadows of uh, which it is very important. We, we, in, in strategy, take a look at the block of the day, block of data, but mm-hmm. how day forms and how each of these candles form, this speaks a lot. These shadows speak a lot. Mm-hmm. You need to pay attention to this. Hammer is a candle. Look at these two. Look at these two. They are two yeah. different universes. Two yeah. completely different universes. 
when this one forms after this candle is completely it changes the scenario because if this one was one of these red ones what would you do you would short but no yeah after this one forms and actionary signals come the day after with the power of hammer of the is no it's not thoughts yeah. it's just a normal hammer yeah. just with this hammer you get a lot of information so you need to pay attention and i don't trade stocks that they are um weaking a lot and i don't uh, touch them if they are there's one more than one percent a week on top of a below a candle and mm-hmm. the gap i don't trade more than three percent because normally market just pulls back to fill up the gap there are lots of people that they don't like the gap stock loses you know when when three percent gap happens stock has already moved three percent so how much more can it move i don't know so normally yeah. i don't pay attention pay attention to them and stocks that they have mother bar next i don't pay attention <laughs> No, Next. not whatsoever. Next. Yep. Yeah. So no mother board on daily, weekly, and monthly. You can have a mother board on 15 minutes, but how long it's going to take to get out of a mother board on 15 minutes? I don't know, 45 minutes. But it's going to get out on monthly. Yeah. Uh-huh, how much, how long it's going to take to get out of monthly if it's a mother board issue? ATR, uh, more than $1. It means that on average, it's not a guarantee, but on average, this stock has potential and an average move of one dollar move every day. So if I have ten cents stop, my upside is ninety cents, right? Yeah. So it's one yeah. to nine, uh, one to nine uh, okay. R to R ratio. Then I have seven million minimum seven million volume uh, traded because I don't want start, uh, stocks that they don't move and they don't have uh, participants. Foot uh, soccer, I, I should say, soccer evolves a two eleven member teams. You cannot be 200 each team. You cannot have three because then it's going to be imbalance. So you should have enough. I have found it five to seven million million uh, volume uh, shares traded because this helps you to have tight stop, good executions. It come, there is a lot behind this. You can have a stock with $2 and a half of uh, spread and it's the, the price of the stock is $25, 10% spread because there is nobody playing it. You can have the same uh, price, $2, $20 stock with one cent spread. Which one would you trade, Jimmy? Right, I'm trading one cent spread. That's what I'm trading. <laughs> Hallelujah, preach brother. That's what I'm saying. You need to have participants. You need to have liquidity and liquidity comes with volume. Yep. That's how yeah. I understand it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, and yeah, for commons, you can, when you're trading commons, you can get away with some of those wide spreads because it's just commons. But when you're trading options, daggone it, I want to be able to uh, one cent spread. I don't want to, I don't want to get on something that has a 20, 20 cents, 20 cents spread. Why wouldn't I get puts on, on crowd strike? Because it was a freaking 40 cent spread on those things. If I get in on something and I'm making, I think I'm making this much, but the spread is this wide. So I decide to cut it or I get stopped out. My stop is huge now. Yeah. I was not expecting that big of a loss. I was just, oh, it's a tight stop. But you pick something with a spread that's way too freaking big. You know what I mean? So when you're, when you're trading options, it's so much more difficult. But it also happens, the spread does matter with the uh, with common too. So yes, that's a very good point. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. There is lots of uh, explanation behind every single line of this. And exactly, you touch upon. And there are some stocks that there is liquidity, but still the spread is wide. So I forget, I just dismiss them and I don't trade them. These blue ones, I we even if a uh, rapture happens, I would not dismiss this. I will not stop this uh, looking at this. These are must of my trade uh, on awesome. my system. I, I won't touch them, but the rest could uh, I'm flexible about them. So uh, so so when I, when we're talking about uh, price action, you know, I have a mesh. This is my mesh when I look at the stocks. So I have five minutes, right? So this is a to me, to me. This is a healthy market. Candles are good size. Things are looking normal. There are, there are not too many shadows and market moving around, no barcoding, no nothing. This is unhealthy market. Yeah. Right? This is in pre-market. This is post and pre-market. This is Ooh. extended hours. I don't care. Yeah. If this thing is happening during normal hours, this is an unhealthy market. No liquidity. Yeah. So yeah. no liquidity. So for that reason. I pick, just take a look at the five minute when I'm picking up stocks, right? No weeks and no gap, no uh, I like print. It. Yeah, yeah, that makes it sense. It should be fluent. Yeah, it should be constant. Uh, the price should be consistent. And then I'm looking at uh, a stock price. I'm not trading anything less than three. 
I have to rectify this. This is like from 2018. I'm not trading anything with less than, now at the moment it's $10. VIX is crazy. And yeah. I'm not going to touch anything with less than $10 at the moment. There's, those are stocks I'm not going to put right. anything on them. And nothing yeah. more than $300. The, the, the players are different though than those stocks. Yeah, I may pay true. attention if there is something hot. Like if uh, current president's plan for all government uh, vehicles electronic, if that one goes through, if that one goes, then Tesla is a good play. All yes. the price is high. So you see, yeah. there they should be logic behind it. Normally, yes. I don't pay attention. Right. Yeah. Uh, our wall is very important. If someone have, has a question, just hit me uh, personally. I will respond. Our wall is a relative volume. Uh, so Tesla moves uh, voila, uh, 50 to 80 million, 80 million a day. So if it has 80 million shares traded a day, it's one hour, uh, it's, it's 100%, not one hour, sorry, 100%. But if it is uh, 100 million, it is like voila, 120%. But if a normal stock with $20 price, trades 100 million a day, that's a different ball game. And then uh, the R wall goes crazy. So uh, you need to pay attention to these. I don't pay attention to stocks that uh, they have uh, less volume traded on average. Like if for some reason today volume drops on the stock and then the stock doesn't move, I would just uh, instantly stop paying attention. And this one uh, pops up with the 931, the 930, the moment that market opens, uh, I will have the number. So I will stop or pay attention. Uh, I don't tr trade uh, uh, low floats, uh, as you see, mid or high. Uh, it should be former runner and it should have moves and definition of former runner is there as well. And I should see respect from, like, I don't want to see lots of threes. I don't want to see lots of choppy right. moves right? right i want to see the stock is gradually going high gradually coming down and is respecting everything a little shadow is accepted but not like long as mm, yeah, long yeah, shadows. yeah really long bars yeah yeah yeah, yeah long yeah. bars yeah long shadows bars is long okay shadows. long shadows yeah and we get to the end of it uh i don't want to uh have stocks that on the day they have news in the same way that the stock, when there is a, there is major news in the market, I don't trade that day. Like if FOMC news is going on, mostly I will try to see that what happens, but maybe I don't trade or I cut my risk. For the same reason, for tax month, for corporate tax and normal tax, which is individuals, I'm not trading. And since April, I'm uh, in April, I'm off. I'm not trading. And I will be tr start trading on uh, May again. After uh, oh, like nine it. May, yeah, nine ninth of May, May, I'm not going to be trading before that. So uh, it's it's necessary to pay attention to to see the dynamics and the uh, and the ambitious behind the markets. Markets yeah. a little choppy. Lots of people are trying to put to cut their losses and put them in their uh, 4K uh, forms, 401 or 405. I just you're looking at, they're looking at the tax form, so. Uh, I'm not, I prefer not to be involved with the market. And uh, if there is high short interest or very short, low short interest on market, on, on the stock, I'm not paying attention. Hence, this is mostly goes to heavily shorted stocks or uh, short squeezing stocks, stocks that are squeezing. I'm not going to pay attention to those neither. Yeah. And uh, this would conclude. Uh... <laughs> Give me that. Give me my, give it, give, cut the uh, screen share. Oh, there you go. That's awesome. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got to look at all four time frames, man. I love it. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Go ahead, cut that screen share, man. Hey, thank you so much. I'm telling you, wealth of knowledge, wealth of knowledge. You don't get this stuff from somebody who's been trading for six months, okay? You don't get this from somebody that's been trading for a year. The the the, the people that's Thanks, been brother. trading for you know so short amount of time, you have your own personal experience and knowledge as well. That's awesome. That, I that's awesome. Um, trading trading psychology, you get that from people with experience, and that's awesome. Thank you so much, Dell. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, man. So much information <laughs> in this thing. Thank you so much. I'm gonna talk to these guys just for. Two more minutes, <laughs> but I'm going to let you go, man. Thank you so much for being here, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs> Hit me on Twitter, Twitch or YouTube, on Twitter especially. Uh, let me, uh, okay, it's gone now, but you can uh, put it in the, in the description. In Twitter, Del Day Day Trader, 
And yep. uh, yeah, they, they, they traded as you, as you say, right in. And also on Twitch, I played some Call of Duty as well. So if you see that some weird stuff over there, it's okay. So I have a stream of <laughs> that one real, as well. It's the real yeah. guy. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You have fun. And if any questions, uh, I'm available. Also, Jermaine is just, awesome. uh, he's here as well. Yeah. yeah well, we'll get you. We're going to, it's, it's going to be awesome. Thank you so much, man. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having me, man. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so much. If you want to get in with us here at Sip Your Group, uh, uh, please use the promo code Strat Soldier 2022. That's going to get you three months of Rob Smith for, uh, for $99 per month for three months. We also got Spring Strat. Spring Strat is still going. Uh, that's $9.99 uh, for the uh, Rob's live room for a whole year and Rob's full course, full Strat course. Okay. And then you get, you still got another deal yet. Yes, right. What? Wait, there's more. You got Strat Basic. Okay. Excuse me. Basic Strat basic strat it's one 199 okay 199 is going to give you the live room uh and then it's going to give you my execution course okay so you can be in there with rob use my execution course and and be able to take trades and know what to do and where to put those stops okay so you don't get wrecked man there was a ton of information in here dell knows what he's talking about lots of great information i'm telling you what this you might have hit the record on the longest episode though <laughs> Anyway, this is the Strat Children with, with the Weekend Chef. Thank you so much for being here. It was a great time. I'll see you out there. Peace.